not saying the reason we came north was to hit one last Murdoch. There they go. Whoa! Look at that. Those look amazing. So this is like deja vu from two years ago. We're at Cracker Barrel tonight in Billings because I wasn't going to pay $80 at a, at a KOA and others were full. So yeah. Cracker Barrel was nice enough. It's a little warm, but it's cooling off. And, It'll be fine. and we're watching some YouTube on the laptop tonight yep. because we have the slide out in so we can't see the TV. So we're starting with a chef salad and then we're splitting a chicken pot pie. everyone you can see maybe through the tree there stayed at Cracker Barrel last night had a good night stay it was quiet there was uh, one two three four five six of us here we had dinner and now I'm waiting on breakfast to go pick it up so then we're gonna hit the road go see what we can find today all right, breakfast is over. So we ended up spending, I'd say, just under $40 for breakfast and lunch here, which the KOA wanted 80 plus tax last night. So, and we ended up with two meals, but I love this K or this Cracker Barrel because there's lots of parking. Um, there's like four or five or six RV spots. Plus there's plenty around the perimeter. And there's this big grass area for your pets. You can walk them back here and it was honestly quiet last night. So if you're ever in Billings, Montana, come to the Cracker Barrel. And uh, again, if you're overnighting at these places, make sure to clean up after you leave um, and make sure you thank them for letting you stay here. And the best way to thank them is have a meal. Where are we going? We're going to North Dakota, baby. North Dakota? We don't have that sticker anymore, so I thought, why not? Oh, true. We need a North Dakota sticker. Yeah, so we're just gonna take, it's it's probably not a lot farther out of our way to go North, Car North Dakota. Mm -hmm. Well, North Carolina would be a little <laughs> out of our way, but uh, as opposed to going through South Dakota, yeah. and we have not been in North Dakota in a couple of years. We've only ever been there once. Right. On a quick drive through on our way yeah. to Glacier, so. And guess what there's one more of? I'm not saying the reason we came north was to hit one last Murdoch's, but it didn't hurt North Dakota's chances. Right. <laughs> and I got me a hat. There you go. It took me a while to finally find one. Right. Patty really liked this one, and it was only $25. Well, that's also... Yeah, and I'm cheap, so... <laughs> okay, let's get them loaded. All right, not where I'd planned to end up tonight, and I didn't film really much this afternoon. My plan was to stay near Teddy Roosevelt, but we got there and it was like 95 degrees out and there were some strong storms headed that away. My original plan was I wanted to go find that boondocking site from two years ago that I couldn't find and I knew there would be people there this year so I'd find it. But we were concerned with those heavy storms coming that those roads might get really muddy. And um, so anyway, we're here at a KOA, but it was only like 42 bucks, I think. So at least that's what Patty told me. Uh, and I think because it was so hot out, she really wanted air conditioning. So um, we just kept driving, we came here. It means tomorrow we'll have a much shorter drive and we're going to a harvest host. So I will personally be much happier. And I think we're gonna have a good time because they're doing a Friday night dinner. And even though we're not gonna eat up front because of Truman and Bess, we're gonna get a really good meal um, and support the winery. And they said we could take the food back to the trailer. And then um, this will be our first winery this trip. And I am cooking up some dinner tonight. I've got some leftover steak that I've cut up. And I got some veggies right there. 
And then I got the potatoes. And I'm gonna turn this into like a little steak bowl for us. So, all right, I'm gonna finish up dinner because we're getting hungry. This is that contraption I was telling you about. We got uh, those fried potatoes down below, some Tillamook cheese, some steak that was left over, and then these fresh veggies that were grilled up. I don't know what you call this, Patty, a pile of... Maybe succotash? <laughs> I don't know, it's not succotash, <laughs> but it's it's like a pile of, you know what? It's, it's, a, it's really like a, well, it's a home, it's definitely a Midwestern type meal because like meat, meat, potatoes, potatoes veggies, veggies. Yeah. but a lot of it was just, we needed to use up that steak. Right. I didn't want to waste good Montana steak. They don't want to waste Montana steak. So, <laughs> all right, I say we dig in, yep. give it a try. How about a little, uh, Mood lighting. Ooh. Ooh. Romantic dinner in Bismarck, North Dakota. <laughs> hey, Bess, you're off leash. You want to have some fun? You're just going to sit there and smell things? Come here, Bessie. There she goes in the old camp canine. Truman's over here. Neither of them are really that interested in running. Oh, there comes Bess. All right, where are you going? Go get Bubby. Come here, Truman. Truman! Patty's trying to teach him how to do it. Yeah. Come down. Come down. Yay! Good job, bud. Hey, now they're getting the hang of this off leash stuff. There they go. Whoa! I'm not sure who's in the lead. We got off here in Jamestown, North Dakota. Yep. And we made an assumption. Well, I looked online and it said you could do, do takeout. Yeah. No dining and no uh, something else, but you could do takeout. So I guess I just assumed there was a way to order. Well, I get up to the door and I read the sign and it said that um, you had to go through the drive through I get that. Or you can do pickup and do the mobile app. And I thought, well, how do you, where do you pick it up? There's no like little window, like at little places. So I then called and the person I talked with said, well, just come to the drive through to pick it order up. or pick it up. And I said, well, can I walk through? And at first she said, well, probably not just drive through. And I said, well, I got a travel trailer. We'll pull the travel trailer through. And so I'm like, well, I don't know about that. So we made a decision that we, Patrick checked it out and decided to drive through. So we drove through the drive through That was a, that was a first. I don't <laughs> think I've ever pulled a travel trailer through a fast food drive through Well, you had checked out. There was no overhangs or anything. Right. And um, I walked around and made sure you before kept I... a big distance. And, but I was just like, okay. So I, you just forget sometimes. Because, well, we've been to so many little mom and pop little restaurants where you walk up to the window and right. you order so. that... I guess I just thought there might be something like that. So... All right, let's eat some lunch. Then we're going to get <laughs> gas. Uh, we're just sitting here at a truck stop, I guess you'd call it. Mm -hmm. Got to get some gas. And then we don't have too much farther to go and get to the winery. And, right. So. And then be able to wine it up. Tell you what, these bowls look pretty good, though. Mm-hmm.
Well, Patty, nothing like having some wine, cheese, and crackers <laughs> at the actual vineyard. Mm -hmm. So we're here at Red Trail Vineyards, mm -hmm. Buffalo, North Dakota, I believe is the nearest mm -hmm. town. Mm -hmm. And um, she's having her crackers with some Tillamook, very veggie cream cheese, which and is, this amaz stuff is amazing. And we we did not buy nearly enough. So we're gonna need some help on getting. <laughs> yeah, somebody somebody on the west coast is gonna have to dry ice ship us some of this stuff. Like we're so good. Probably like a case. Like that stuff is the good. bomb. Yeah. And I am having the uh, <laughs> I don't know whatever the wine was for <laughs> Friday night wine down. I forget. I don't know. I don't know. I it's it it's very good though. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice wine. So, again, harvest hosting tonight. Um, we're actually running the generator. I, I hate running it. Although the the predator is so quiet, you don't. Once I walked over into the parking lot, you really don't hear it. And Rodney, the uh, owner, I mentioned something about it that I hate running it, and he was like, "Oh well, you know, you have to got you got to do it." And, like he didn't seem bothered that I might run it. So we fired it up for a little bit. It's it's pretty hot here. Well, but there's storms around us. And so now, it's so super it's humid. humid. Yeah. I think it's part of, they said, a cold front. Right. So, so tomorrow it's going to cool off in this area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's batty. Look at those eyes. She's been staring at a computer. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not even home yet, and she's already working on school. So. Well, I, well, I actually have been for the last, I what, have two this, weeks? Well, I have. Three all weeks. Summer. Ugh. Here. Uh, it's been an all summer thing. So, yeah. so anyway, one of the things about this vineyard here is, um, I was telling Rodney, I'm like, you had like YouTube celebrities stay here, and I'm not sure he knew who they were because he was like, oh, I did, and then I said, yeah, keep your daydream, and that didn't seem to do anything for him, and then I said, well, Mark and Trish Leach were here recently, and then I think the name. Because he goes, oh, yeah, that nice couple with the two two boys. And then he remembered them. So I told him, I'm like, he said he's been really busy of late. And I said, well, if you end up in KYD's video, you're going to be really busy. Mm -hmm. So I, I told him, I said, I don't know if they filmed here or not. I said, I will. And you'll pick up, like, one or two people <laughs> off of our channel. Because we only have 20,000 subscribers. <laughs> but Mark and Trish have... 350 plus yeah, uh, thousand mm -hmm. so, anyway yeah. but I feel like I feel like we're following in the footsteps of A-list YouTubers go. we're like D-list YouTubers <laughs> Bess is so excited she's getting rested up and honestly Truman he's down here oh Truman he's enjoying the coolest yeah Truman's right down there okay, that's where the air is going see he's smart see? oh yeah he's he's right under the AC <laughs> vent so Here's where we're going to have dinner. We're going to sit out here. There's a dining room up here, screen in porch, and then inside. But because we have Truman and Beth, they said we could sit outside as opposed to sitting in our trailer. So, And honestly, this is a great setting. Looks like they got some horseshoe pits. They got a gazebo. And then you got this little water fountain over here. Patty, how is your ham and bean soup? Oh, my goodness. It's really good. I've never had it. With it was it carrots and celery? Yeah, I think so. Um, ham, it's, it's just good. A lot of flavor to it. Yeah. Oh boy, here it comes. Here, here. here comes the chef. Uh, with... uh oh, something for the puppy. Uh oh. Okay, I don't know which one's bigger. Oh, it don't matter. Don't matter. Look at that. Those look amazing. Mm. Mm. Looks good, huh? Smells amazing. Seven layered salad. No, I'm not gonna... So they do these every Friday night, know, different menu, crazy. different menu. Some weeks it's steak. They actually do a seafood boil. So yeah. this is smoked ribs. Right. You guys get seven layers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. You guys like this North Dakota cool evening? Uh, just going for a little walk down here. Thank you. 
good morning. We are headed down the dirt road to get to the interstate. Got uh, that was a nice stay last night at Harvest House, don't you think? It was. Camera's gonna Very be bumpy. Nice. It's yeah. a bumpy, it's a dirt bumpy road. road. <laughs> Yeah, we had a nice dinner, and then, boy, it cooled down. It was gorgeous outside last night. Truman and Bess got to meet the neighbors, yeah, and nice. Truman actually escaped without his harness mm -hmm. on, but he ran right to the, the little girls. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't say little. They weren't little, but yeah. the girls. The and, girls, yep. yeah. So, so if you guys happen to see this video, it was nice meeting you. Hope you have a great trip out west. Probably by the time you see this, you'll be back home. This morning, we are headed, as the sign says, that you probably can't read. Fargo, Fargo is our next uh, city. city. And our then, route. yep, and then we will be crossing into Minnesota. Or as they call it on Sirius XM, Minnesota. Snota, right. We're going to be buzzing through and going straight to Wisconsin. So. Yeah. No Minnesota sn snicker, sticker. Sticker. <laughs> I'll get it out. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright Had to make an unexpected stop. Lights went out and a rear view camera, a piece of rubber bounced up loose and didn't do any damage, just loosened but um, just happened to end up across from a Culver's. So, a couple turtle sundaes and a coffee. Okay, and we got fuel, so it wasn't a total waste of a stop. <laughs> yeah, I need help. Well, I got the car. So, we arrived. We're here at the KOA Madison Holiday. It's actually in DeForest, Wisconsin, I believe. We're just north of Madison. So, um, I ended up getting the site with tax for around 52, so not too bad. It's a Saturday night. I just didn't want to deal with trying to find some place on a Saturday night. So um, I'm up in the dog park with Truman and Bess. You can see I took them off their leashes and uh, letting them do a little play. They actually kind of enjoy coming, especially after riding all day. It lets them stretch their legs, and they can come up and explore and get all the smells. You can see... Bess is being a little um, explorer. She's found the water dish, which hopefully it's fresh water. I'm assuming it is. And so, yeah. So, I'm going to let them stretch their legs for a couple minutes. And then i got to go make some dinner. And then we've got a special guest coming tonight. My nephew, Alex, that some of you know. Oops, more privacy needed. He is spending a couple weeks up here in Wisconsin with his aunt and uncle on my brother-in-law side of the family and he's about an hour and a half away but he asked if he could drive over tonight and see us so we said sure he had been house sitting tall pine lodge while we were gone um, but then he came up here last week so he could spend a couple weeks with them before he goes back to college so kind of excited to get to spend the evening with alex and um then tomorrow we'll make the uh, final push home so this is our site you can see they actually are not too bad here. And they're kind of set up on a half circle, multiple rows. And you can see it goes down through here. And they still pack them in. It's not the, uh, definitely not the Tetons. So this is like deja vu from two years ago. Alex is with us on our trip out west, except two years ago it was the start of the trip. Not the end of the trip. And it was the Tab 400. <laughs> this is a lot more spacious, don't you agree? <laughs> yeah. Like, like you remember that? Like, we couldn't that even move scary. around. It yeah. was. Like, you. I think you slept okay on that dinette. Yeah, no, that was fine, But it was just, but... if the three of us, we couldn't all stand up at the same time in the Tab 400. And in here, like, Patty's working right now. Yep. We got Beth sleeping over here. So, and this would have been a better trailer for the three of us to travel in. Potentially so. a little more space than this one. Yeah. And we were actually dropping you off at the yeah. border 
to go see your girlfriend at the time, yeah. Ruby. How's that working out two years later? <laughs> Not great with the border being closed. <laughs> but same girlfriend, but, right? But yes. That, so and we cool. love Ruby. We think she's awesome. So I'm so glad you drove over tonight. Thank you for making the trip. No, I've enjoyed it. It's been yeah. nice. All right, Patty. The last two stickers for this trip. We got North Dakota. I actually stayed two nights there. Okay. And Wisconsin, where we stayed last night. So almost full, full four full weeks on the road. It's yep. coming to an end as we're going to take it on home to Indiana today. Yep. Good trip. Very good trip. Good summer. Good summer. Busy summer. It's been crazy. It's been a busy Not summer. quite what we had originally envisioned, no. but, but it worked out. So even though we didn't get a full two months on the road. We did get a new trailer <laughs> yeah. and we got a new truck and I think we're really set up not only for Alaska but for years to come. Alright everybody, we hope you've enjoyed this month long excursion and I think with that, that's Truman's signal to say wrap it up. So we'll see everybody on down the road. Buddy, you don't want to go home?